Hello and welcome. My name is John Rush. I'm a Shavlik product evangelist. Today we're going to be talking about Shavlik Protect and IT scripts. IT scripts are a PowerShell capability that we added uh, in version 9 of, of Shavlik Protect. PowerShell scripts allow us to do many things, um, especially those mundane uh, uh, tasks that you have to do, things like check disk or defrag or how much disk space do I have on a machine or when was the last time the machine was, was rebooted, uh, you know, all that types of information. So again, it, it's not so much the fact that we can run PowerShell, that's cool, but, it, but the fact that I can run PowerShell against a number of machines at a scheduled time, that's really the power of IT scripts. So let's take a look at that. Here I am inside of Protect, I'm at the home page, and let's say that on a group of machines, I want to find out when the last time the machines were rebooted. I have the ability right here through step number four to go down and say I'd like to run a script. And then from here, I have access to a number of scripts. And, and again, I'll talk about how we enable these and tell you what you can do. But again, there's check disk and defrag. Maybe I need to turn off the auto updaters. Uh, I want to enable remote desktop. Uh, get the date and time. That's always a good one. You know, are all my machines at the right date and time? Because as you know, in a, in a VMware environment, for example, if machines aren't at the same date and time, some, some bad things can happen. It allows us to see when the last reboot time. So what this allows me to do then is to run those scripts against those machines and, and see the results of it. So I'm going to go ahead and fire that off. Now, while this is running, I'm just going to minimize this. Well, so while those scripts are running, let's talk about how I enable the IT scripts and, and where I manage that information. So I'm going to go up here and take a look at Manage IT Scripts. And what we do is this is the information that, that is automatically updated uh, every time you come in here. And again, if I just check on, uh, click on one of these check disks, for example, we tell you what it is, what it does. Um, can it be modified to target machines? Yes or no. You know, drive letters, the inputs that we have. Uh, who authored it because we have a community that other people can supply uh, PowerShell if you need to and, and be able to pull those in. But again, the idea here is you would simply go through. Now, normally uh, when you first start up, these are all disabled. And, and what I mean by that is if I right mouse click, they look just like this. So they're not approved. Uh, the red X means they won't run. Uh, we don't assume anything, so everything is turned off by default. So you come in here and you look at the different things that you want, find the ones that are important to you, enable them. Um, we also give you the ability to import scripts. What this means, if you've created your own PowerShell script, uh, the only thing you have to do is you have to uh, add a, f a couple of little hooks that are that are necessary for to work inside of Protect. And then we also uh, request that they be digitally signed uh, for trust purposes. But again, the idea is you can you can either select from the ones we have or import import your own. Once they're in, like I said before, now we can go ahead and take a look at that. So let's view our status again. So this is our operations monitor. And as you can see, the last time the machines were rebooting, we're still going through the process, but we're pulling the data in. Now this particular one does use uh, WMI, so some of my machines don't have WMI enabled. But again, the point is, is that I can see that information in real time. I can see what's going on. I also have the ability to go up and view the results of my IT scans by going up here, choosing the ones that I want. So you know, I pick the the date and time of of when I'm running, and and pull that information in and view uh, all the results. Here's just just the ones I ran today. Uh, here's the information I did. So again, I can take a look at that information, see the data, see the output, uh, take that information and use it in whatever way I need to. Now, we also give you the ability to run templates. So if you want to, you can create your own PowerShell template and then we simply just call that template and pull the parameters. So again, if it's an IT script, and let's say that I want to do check disk, as you can see, I can modify the values for the particular uh, files that I want to do. If it's uh, you know hardware asset tag, whatever it might be, I can pull that information. And depending on what it is I'm looking for, I could be looking for specific things in specific locations. So again, it's not the fact that we run I the PowerShell. That's great. It's the fact that I can schedule that PowerShell to run against multiple machines at the same time and schedule that to happen on a reoccurring basis as needed. Uh, that's it for now for IT Scripts. Uh, thanks for your time.